are your eyes? Ah, better. But that's not actually what I mean. I'm talking about what you pay attention to as you go through your day. Do you see that candy wrapper on the sidewalk? The dishwasher that needs to be unloaded? What about the toy lying in the middle of the floor that someone is definitely gonna trip over? Do your eyes pay attention to the kid playing alone on the playground? Or your older neighbor trying to wield her trash bin up the driveway? All around you, there are things that need to be done, just waiting for someone to step up. And that someone can be you. When you see that piece of trash, toss it in the can. Take that silverware and slide it in the drawer. Pick up that toy and put it away. Invite that kid to join your kickball team and offer to help your neighbor get her rolling bin back to the house. When you see a need and you make a move to take care of it, that's initiative. It's a great way to show love to the people around you. When you see what needs to be done and do it, others can see God at work in you. That's why initiative is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Help me God to see what you see. You are doing a great work in me. I've decided I can stand still. No, you have given me purpose All my, all my heart is yours All my, all my life is yours I will, I will make a move for you For you All my, all my heart is yours Launching foot missiles. Oh, cool. Let me see. Watch this. All right. Oh! oh. <laughs> no, it barely launched. Hey, can I try? Yes, you can yeah. actually. Here, let me sure. set this up for you. Thanks. All right. Okay. <laughs> right. We're clear to launch. Okay. Three, two, one.
Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the So and So Show. John, John, we we have an amazing show today. That we do. Yeah. Yes, we do, but you, you should probably get rid of this big bag of trash before we get the show started. Yeah, well, I didn't put it there. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's kind of it's kind of blocking the shot. Yeah, so. not my job. Why don't you throw it away? I didn't put it there either. Yeah, but it's closer to your side. Okay, no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, look, this is your basement. Yeah, but there's a trash can right beside you. So what? We're just gonna we're gonna do the show with this. This giant bag of trash on the desk? I Is don't know, Brandon, are we? So, I am so excited about today's show. We have a huge guest. So big. Someone that, quite frankly, I can't even believe she agreed to come on the show. But she <laughs> is here. Today. In this very room. <laughs> Should we tell them who it is? I don't think an introduction is necessary. I agree. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Woohoo! Oh, wow! Come on in and have a seat. Yeah, come on in, have a seat, have a seat. <laughs> wow, we are so this happy to have you here. here on the show today. I am so happy to be here. <laughs> Look, I'm sure our viewers know who you are, uh, but just in case, tell us who you are and what you know. People call me... Miss Magnificent, the one woman circus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tell us about some of your amazing acts. Well, why don't I just show you? Oh, Ooh. that would be awesome. I'll just put this right here. Okay, here now, before we do anything, it's very important to stretch. <sighs> wow. Amazing. <laughs> How are you doing that? <sighs> I've never seen anyone do anything like that before. What? 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 It's like your head is spinning all the way around. What are you, an owl? <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's better. Okay, now for my very first act, I'm going to bring out oh, oh, man. my very, very good friend, <laughs> Frank. Whoa, is that a tarantula? <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, 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 come, come, he's crawling up your arm. I, 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 oh. oh, it's crawling on her neck. Oh, no, it's on your face. Oh, no. It's on your face. <laughs> you have a tarantula on your face. <laughs> okay, back in there, little <laughs> buddy. Okay, <laughs> now that Frank is back home safe and sound, I think it's time that we have some fun with swords. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm going to need a little more room. How about over there? Yeah, sure. Come on. Right over here. Yeah, right over here, sure. Great spot. Oh, it's so awesome. Absolutely. <sighs> okay, so okay. we're just going to get this ready. I'm going to put this up what is here. This? What is this? What, yeah, yeah. What, what, what are you? Watch and see. Here we go. What are, oh, no, no. Oh, what? Did she, she's swallowing a sword. It's gonna hurt. Oh, uh, I can't believe what I'm seeing. What? 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 And oh. we're through with that one. <laughs> All right, now, John, take this lighter and light this for me. Oh. All right. Whoa, okay. No! Yes! Doom! Oh, that's incredible! Amazing! No! Oh, breathtaking! So big! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for having me on your little show. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Our audience has never seen anything like that. Well, it was my pleasure. <laughs> oh, let me get your hat. Oh, let yes, me get your my hat, hat and not my bag. Sure, sure, there's your hat. And let me get your bag here. Oh, that's perfect. That's thank perfect. You. Thank, thank you. Thank so you. Much. Oh, that was so great. Thank you. See you later. Oh, it was magnificent. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like your style. <laughs> wow. Yeah. How do we top that? It's Bible story time with Kellen. How's it going, Kellen? Great. Um, why is there a giant bag of trash on the desk? Uh, we don't know. Yeah, no idea how it got here. Hey, but more importantly, did you know who we just had on the show? 
Yeah, I was watching. I think it was Miss Magnificent. Wasn't she incredible? I don't know. Actually, no one can see her because there was a giant bag of trash blocking her. No, no, they were able to see her. I mean, yeah, surely they were, they were, I mean, Steve, you were, you were able to see her, right? A, a cookie? Yeah, but Jason, you were able to. This is all your fault. My if you fault. hadn't thrown away, I told you, needed to throw, you, you at told the me beginning what? of the show, told me I what? said there was trash on the desk. This is not I my trash, Brandon. Right? Right? It, it, it was your dad. Hey, hey guys. What? I think I got a story that can help us out. Oh, then by all means, take it away, Kellen. Gladly. Our story today is from the book of Nehemiah. In fact, we're going to be talking about Nehemiah all month long. So here to help me tell the beginning of his story are the so-and-so show players. <laughs> Nehemiah was the king's wine taster. Oh, king Artaxerxes, this is good. I can smell hints of fig. Oh, and that was cherry. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Burnt camel hair. Oh, that is wonderful. Yeah. You're smelling that. Can you taste it and check for poison? <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, that's my job. Wine All right. Wine <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, King. Excellent. That's just. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 Once again. Oh, I'm Once just again. kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, man, you should have seen your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, yeah just <laughs> bottoms up. Yeah. Nehemiah had been away from his home in Jerusalem for quite some time. So when his brother Hanani came to visit, Nehemiah asked him all about Jerusalem. Nehemiah! Hanani! Hey! <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, tell me, see. tell me. I, I want to hear about everything. Tell me how yeah. the people are back home in Judah. How's the city of Jerusalem? Yeah, oh, brother. Brother, brother, brother. The people are having a hard time. Uh, and what? Jerusalem. Oh, sweet Jerusalem. The walls of oh, Jerusalem. I love the they, walls. Of, they're huge. Yeah, they were. <laughs> huge, <laughs> were, were. The walls have oh, come down. Yeah, the gates are burned with fire. Yep, yep, yep. I got you. Yep. When Nehemiah heard this, he wept for several days, and he didn't eat any food. <laughs> uh, you're out of strawberry. No, no, yep, no. Nope, nope. <laughs> I think you get the point. Nehemiah was sad, and he did something that's helpful to do when you're feeling sad. He prayed to God. Nehemiah praised God in his prayers. And he also admitted that he and his people, well, they kind of messed up, and they hadn't been following God. Also, in his prayers, Nehemiah asked God to give him success when he asks King Artaxerxes a really big favor. Ah, Nehemiah, mm. would you? That's good. Oh, what? Nehemiah, mm. well, you're sad. Why are you so sad? <sighs> King, I may live forever, yep. but my city where my people of old have been buried, it's been destroyed. The city's destroyed and, and the walls and gates have been burned <laughs> well, with what, fire. Terrible. What do you want? Nehemiah again prayed to God before he made his request of the king. If it please you, I would ask that you send me to Judah, to the city of Jerusalem, so that I can rebuild the wall. How long will it take? The king gave Nehemiah permission. And Nehemiah also asked the king to send along letters that would not only make sure he had a safe journey, but it would also help Nehemiah get access to logs he could use to rebuild part of the city wall. Artaxerxes gave him the letters and sent an army of officers with him for protection. After Nehemiah had been in Jerusalem for three days, he went out at night 
to check on the wall. He went through the valley gate toward the jackal hey, whoa, well. Hey, whoa. The jackal well? That's what it says. All right. Let's go. And then he walked to the dung gate. Dung gate? Dung gate. It's right there in the Bible. You know what? This is wild. This is it's wild. Nehemiah saw that the entire wall had been destroyed. So he went back to speak with the priest and the officials of Jerusalem. Good. Are all the priests and the officials here? Yeah. All right, good. Good. Who did you good. say this guy was? Mm. Oh, Hello. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Um. Hello, friends. We all know what kind of trouble that we are in right now. Jerusalem has been destroyed and our gates have been burned with fire. I know it's, it's terrible. It is terrible. But there's, yes, it is. Uh, but listen, listen, please stop. Please stop. Thank you. <clears throat> we must try to, nay, nay, nay. We will rebuild the wall around Jerusalem. We will rebuild the wall. Yes, we can do that. My friends, listen, God has been gracious to me. God has helped me and King Artaxerxes has given us supplies. Supplies that will help us rebuild the wall right now. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So, so who is ready to get to work and rebuild the wall? Let's do it. Good. Excellent. Let's go. Let's go. To be continued. Thank you so much, so and so show players. Take a bow. Wow, great story, Kellen. Right? Back then, city walls protected people from enemies and wild animals. They were very important. So, Nehemiah was heartbroken to find out that the walls of Jerusalem were broken down. Hear me out. Now, it wasn't Nehemiah's fault that the walls were broken down. It wasn't his job to fix them. But after he talked with God, Nehemiah knew he had to do something. And he just did it. Yep. With God's help, Nehemiah got to work. He didn't wait for someone else to do what needed to be done. Huh. Yeah. You guys got it from here? Yeah, I think we do. Yeah, thanks, Kellen. Later, guys. See you next time. You know? Yeah. But first, reveal the question. What around you needs to be done? Great question. Sure is. Maybe you have a school project you've been putting off. Uh, or maybe you notice some dishes that need to be done, and even though they aren't yours, you wash them. Or maybe there's a giant bag of trash on your studio desk. And it's been there the whole show. It's not your trash. And it's not either of yours, but you realize it's there. And what needs to be done is you just need to throw, throw the, the trash, trash away. away. I see something else that needs to be done. Yeah. Trash can basketball? Absolutely. <laughs> hey, talk about it together. What around you needs to be done? And we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. You ready? Yeah, let's do this. All right. <laughs> Hit it. All right, go. Oh, off the backboard. Oh, man. Maybe, 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 maybe you can do an assist instead. OK, here we go. Alley -oop. Oh! Yeah. That's how you do it, chicken. I can't make a basket. I can't either. And I'm standing right next to it. Oh, all the confetti. Yes! Nice! I made one! You made a trash can! Hey, come on, let's keep going! Hey, that's not... What? Come no, on! No, no, no! Yeah! Oh, Hello! Oh, that's good. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, this looks about normal. <laughs>